Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be modeling the back. Okay, so let's save a new file. Um, okay. Just hide all these layers for now. Alright, um. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, drag these edges down and move them around all the way here and model this part nicely and then keep moving downwards until we reach this line and then one more time downwards. Okay. Um, so loop this over here. No, let's not loop. Just select them manually. Uh, and this. Okay. And pull it down. Actually, let's create a seam. Okay, pull it down that much, and then pull it down however. And you know what to do. Just go around deleting polygons. There we go. Okay. Um, Just start adjusting uh, vertices over here. in the middle here. Okay. Okay, a bit of trial and error now. Um, let's try this edge all the way over here. Now, since this symmetry uh, line, we're going to set it to zero. There we go. Okay, lift it up. Lift these guys up. Try to keep them on a straight line. It doesn't matter if they don't follow the blueprints. Okay, um, from the side here, let's just fix them up. On that way. Alright, that's good. Now, let's cut a line along here, one along here, and one along here. Okay. Adjust them from the back. That's already good. Now, from the top view, Fix them up. Fix them up. Okay, and let's just add another line here. Um, yeah, let's just keep it to one line for now. Okay. Now let's hit uh, mesh smooth and symmetry. Okay, so it's starting to take a curve over here. Alright, that's pretty good. inwards like, like that because um, this chamfered line over here needs to disappear somehow okay 
we're going to work on that. First of all, then, I don't want to extrude the edges inwards now because uh, that would mean we have to start working on extruding the wheel arc as well. So I don't want to do that just right now. Um, so let me bring this back out. Okay, loop it round. Sorry, you don't have to do this, I'm just testing it out. Just for now, uh, pick these two edges and hit backspace, and select the vertices they're connected to and hit backspace as well. We're just going to remove them for now, uh, we're going to use them later on. Fix it up from the left view. <coughs> this line should go here, like that. And just pull these lines down. Okay. Now select this edge and that edge and just hit ring and oh, connect them up with one segment. There we go. Alright, just fix it up. There we go. Nice smooth curve over here. Okay, it doesn't look too good, but we're working on it.
looks better. As you can see, I'm just going around making small adjustments here and there. Uh, nothing too major. Okay. Now, I think we can start chamfering. Okay, what I want to do is select these edges over here. First of all, I'm going to save and I'm going to save a new file. Like so, and I'm going to select these edges here along the wheel arc. Careful not to select this one. Oh, no, wait. I'm not going to chop for now. I'll tell you why. Because this part over here moves inwards just a really tiny bit. And we need to do that before anything. select these over here and shift and then just move them downwards just slightly okay and then downwards again now you know what to do here because it's a seam so we're going to be deleting all the polygons in between okay Vertex. Now, target weld these two together. Okay. Okay. As you can see, I'm not following this exact model of the car. I'm following a different one. <laughs> 